Hi guys, Elizabeth here from Weglock. Today I'm going to show you how to create a multilingual Webflow website using Weglock. Our integration is quick, fast and requires no code. So let's take a look at how to do that and also we'll be adding multilingual SEO friendly subdomains. Let's get started. First things first, you need to sign up for a Weglock account. This is also where you'll manage your translations. So let's navigate to the integration page and sign up just here. Simply fill out your email address and create a password and then click on start free trial. Once you've signed up, you'll be taken here. So let's give our project a name. Let's call it Webflow. And then we're going to select our website technology, which is of course Webflow. Just a quick note, if you've yet to purchase a domain name for your Webflow website and are using a temporary one given by Webflow, you should use a different integration which I've linked in the description below. So let's click Next. Okay, so now we need to enter our domain URL. Then we need to add the original language of our website. So for us, it's English. And then the languages you want to add. So in my case, I'm going to add French. Then click Next. The next page will show you your DNS entries. Here we need to access your domain name provider. So for the purposes of this video, we'll show you that using Google Domains, but the process is pretty similar no matter where you bought your domain. We also have some useful tutorials using other name domain providers linked below. So let's go to our domain name provider, click on DNS, and then we need to manage custom records. Now we want to select CNAME in this instance and the host name, if we go back here, is FR. And then the data, we just need to copy here and paste there. And then we simply click on save. Now we need to go back to our Weglot account and click check DNS. Uh, that was quick. What we were looking for was that red cross to turn to green. And now our subdomains are ready. If it doesn't happen straight away, that's quite normal. It can also take up to 10 minutes. But contact us at support at wegot.com if after 24 hours you haven't got the green tick icon. Now we've got our subdomains set up, we need to add our language switcher. Now that's what this add the JavaScript code section is all about. So let's just copy that code and now we need to go into our actual Webflow admin and click here project settings and custom code and then in the head code we just need to paste that piece of code and click on save changes and that's it you'll now see a language button is live on your site and you can switch between the different languages to see your fully translated multilingual Webflow website. As you can see, we've got a slightly fancier language switcher than the one you'll get by default from Weglot. So we've actually created some really cool custom built language switches specifically for Webflow that you can clone. So make sure you check those out in the link below. And how does Weglot work? Well, we've given you a first layer of machine translation. You can now manually edit those translations, add professional translators or teammates to make any edits you want to your translations. So there you have it, a fully multilingual Webflow website in just a few minutes. To further discover how to use Weglot, check out our tutorial playlist and don't forget to reach out to us at support at if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.